Hi everybody, welcome to Polka Dot Pots. I'm Erin Rassiope and today I'm going to show you how to paint this ice cream cone box in four easy steps. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is apply stickers. Stickers are the easiest way to get clean and crisp looking letters on your piece. I'm spelling yum, but you could add your name to personalize it. You can use your fingers to apply stickers, but I have a tip for you to help with smaller stickers, like the dot of the exclamation point, which is crazy small. I'm going to use a toothpick to help me place it in the perfect spot. Last, I'm going to push down on the stickers so that paint doesn't get underneath. Voila! I'm ready to paint. Paint the top and bottom of your ice cream cone box your favorite colors. I'm using a light brown for the bottom, and you can see I'm painting just right on top of the stickers. You can paint the bottom and the inside, or just leave it as is, and it will look white and shiny after it's glazed and fired. Next, I'm putting my second coat of pink on the ice cream cone top. I chose pink because it looks great with sprinkles on top. Remember to use three coats of paint for a nice solid look. Now I'm going to add sprinkles. We have fun writers that make adding sprinkles easy. Simply take the pin out of the fun writer, apply enough pressure so that the paint comes out, and use it just like you would a pencil. When using fun writers, you only need one coat since the paint comes out thick. A tip here is to look down at the ice cream cone top so you can space out your sprinkles. Delicious! Now that the paint is dry to the touch, I'm ready to remove the stickers. Using a toothpick, apply pressure to the edge of a sticker. Once part of the sticker separates from the item, grab it and peel it off. Next, I'll get the dot off the exclamation point by just pushing it off. And lastly, the top of the exclamation point. If any paint gets underneath the stickers, you can just scrape it off with the toothpick. I'm all done, and the piece is ready to be glazed and fired. All right, here's the finished product. This piece looks great on a dresser or shelf, and because it's a box, you can put things like hair ties and jewelry inside. Now it's time to give away this ice cream cone box for free. All you have to do is answer the question of the day in the comments below, and we'll randomly pick one of you to ship this to. The question of the day is, what would you store inside this ice cream cone box? I'd probably put some chapstick inside because when I need some, I can never find it. I'm Erin Rassiope, and until next time, happy painting.